Lord Rees is the royal astronomer. He said a few years ago that human beings will never understand the full capacity of the universe, right? And uh, I should say that Lord Rees at the moment is studying gamma rays and multiverses, which A, makes him a Marvel Comics fan, joke for three of you, and <laughs> B, how arrogant is that that he says human beings won't understand the full capacity of the universe? He's studying multiverses. He's going, you guys aren't even going to get this one. I'm on number 15. Fuck you all. I'm not an arsehole. <laughs> But I, I read that and I thought, we will, right? Human beings have done incredible things. Look at everything we've managed to do. We will understand the full capacity of the universe. And then I thought about it for a long time and I realized that maybe it's not that we can't understand it. It's that we won't be that bothered to understand it. Because to understand the full capacity of the universe, you have to look out towards the bigger picture. And we now, as a society, are very good at looking at the smaller picture, which is usually on our phones and usually has our own faces in it. You know? <laughs> there's some scientists, and this might be incorrect, but there's some scientists that suggested recently that if human beings went extinct tomorrow, comedy, if human beings <laughs> went extinct tomorrow, it would be only four to 5,000 years before every trace of our existence was gone. That's it, four to 5,000 years, right? Everything, everything we've ever done, every building, every piece of art, every thought, every bit, just everything, gone. And so maybe in 10, 20, 30,000 years or more, another species would evolve or an alien race might visit. And they'll look for signs of what was here before. And they'll spend years and years searching. They'll search under the oceans and in the caves and through the forests, looking for any glimpse of previous existence. And after so long searching, so, so long. They'll maybe look behind a tree or they'll lift a rock and they'll find a selfie stick. <laughs> and they'll say, what was this for? Was this a rudimentary weapon to fight off attackers? Was this to knock low-hanging fruit off of trees for survival? And after loads of research and loads of studying, they'll work out what it was for and they'll think, oh, I'm glad they died. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Tina Duyan. Yeah.